guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be my June, July, August empties. I have a gigantic basket. I don't remember what stuff was in June, what was July, what was August. Honestly, I have not had that much time to just like some, I haven't had any time to just sit down and film a video. Uh, I do apologize for that. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and film this, but I will most likely, like after I do this intro, I'm going to go ahead and separate this basket into makeup empties, skincare empties. I'm going to split it into categories. So I think I'm going to do part one is going to be makeup and skincare. And then part two, which I will upload a couple days after, will be hair care and body care, like that kind of stuff. Um, this is going to be the intro for both videos, so <laughs> um, if you're new here, I hope you do subscribe, and if you're interested in my June, July, August empties, please keep on watching. Um, I have been trying to hit a goal of $2,000 for 2019 um, in empties, like I wanted to use as much products as possible. I don't know where I'm at by the end of May, I don't remember what was my total, but I will have it in the description box, my uh, total for for um, June, July, and August for part one. And then when I upload part two in that description box, I will have June, July, August, part two total, and then the total for the year. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, actually, I'm gonna need to take a break, separate this stuff, and then I'll be back and I'll show you my empties and what do I think about the stuff that I've used up and if I would repurchase or not. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with part two of my June, July, and August empties. This is gonna be like hair care, some body care, personal care items. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, if you're interested in what I finished up for hair care, body care in the month of June, July, and August, please keep on watching. And if you missed part one, I'll have it in the description box and I'll also have it linked in the eye above. Just click on the eye and then you'll see the link. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the boring stuff, but I always have these in my empties. Um, my toothpaste and my contact lens solution, I mean, I'm gonna keep buying toothpaste and contact lens solution. Contact lens solutions, my favorite. I definitely have to be the clear care. I take the small ones when I travel and then the big one when I'm at home. And then for toothpaste, I have two. The Colgate Total and the Colgate Optic White. I love this stuff. Keeps my teeth white, pearly white. I, I, I'll always have that guy. I buy like the five or six pack from Costco every time that they have them on a good deal yeah i like to save on them all right let's do we'll just do like shower gels body stuff and then the last thing i'll do is makeup because i don't have not makeup um hair care anyways uh let's do body lotions i've been flying through body lotions for some reason my I've been doing a lot of self tanning and then to maintain it I do use quite a bit of body lotion uh, this is Bath and Body Works in the Sun body cream 24 hour moisture ultra shea body cream it smelled really good it was like perfect for the summertime I did really enjoy it it was very rich and with it I did use the shower gel like complimenting scents just so I so the smell would linger more on my body so that's out um, I do have this Victoria's Secret Dream Angels Heavenly Angel Touch body lotion I do have a couple of these um, I don't know if they're all like in this squeezy tube I might have some that are in a pump um, that are a little bit more illuminating I do really like the smell the heavenly scent from Victoria's Secret um, so I do have some more of these uh, that this scent I did put this in my 19 in 2019 or at least I plan to put it on in there because I do have some marks. I'll have to rewatch my last update on that video but this is out. I'm gonna have to put something else in. I thought I was gonna put this in and that's why I worked on this but I haven't done the update of that. So that's cool. I do have a lot of body lotions so I'm gonna have to roll something else in place of this. I like it. I would recommend it. I love that heavenly scent. Okay, moving on. I do have the Aqua Burst Body Wash. Um, this is by Bath & Body Works. This had like little white, kind of like balls in it. 
Ah, the smell is perfect for the summer. It just smells clean and fresh, but I don't know. It's I didn't find it that hydrating. It was okay. I used it. I liked how it smelled very refreshing and all that, but um I don't know if they even sell it anymore. I bought it last summer when they had their semi-annual sale like a year ago. Might have a bottle of two left of this. That's out. I do have another Bath & Body Works and this is the Teakwood. This is the Mint's Collection. Yes, I do. Oh, smells so good. And I found that the Mint's ones last a little bit longer. My husband and I both use this. He uses it a little bit more than me. Some days I would just use it when I don't have any other shower gel. Like my shower gels in the shower. Um, but it smelled really good. I'm calling it my empties because I buy his stuff. He's not going to go out of his way to buy a shower gel. He'll just be like, honey, I'm out. So that's gone let's do hair um i do have a couple like sample things or is it just this one sample these are by what brand the matrix is it the, the matrix matrix total red <laughs> okay matrix total results keep me vivid a conditioner and a shampoo I don't remember what I thought of them. Um, usually, I don't see much difference when using something this small, but it's out, it's gone. I do have another like pouchy thing, but this is actual like a full size item. I think it's a full size. Anyway, I get like four uses out of these masks. Those are the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin. I really do like these. I do buy them every time they have them on sale and I've had empties of these before. So this is something I will definitely repurchase. I would recommend. I do leave it on um, 10 to 15. I don't think I leave it on for that long. I do Sometimes I do use it kind of like a long conditioner, but I do like it. I definitely will keep buying this guy. Okay, now I do have some samples like the Luxi samples. I do have a Moroccan oil protect and prevent spray um, color complete. I did use this guy um, occasionally before I blow dry or like straighten my hair. I don't know if it did anything honestly to be honest. This came in a Sephora play box so I, I will not buy that again. I do have a Redken shampoo and conditioner. Those are the All Soft Mega Shampoo, nourishing for severely dry hair, and then the conditioner for it. I did like the conditioner more than the shampoo. I found that the shampoo kind of like stripped the color from my hair. I do do like hair, like a at home hair color, and it has a burgundy, like it's a deep burgundy mixed with a deep brown and red already bleeds but when I use shampoo like this that lathers I find that it does that like it makes it bleed a little bit more but the conditioner I did really enjoy um, I'm not in the market to buy a conditioner so when I get these for free with a like a gift with purchase from Ulta or anything I do use them but I don't go out and buy them uh, talking about hair color I do have my hair color i'm surprised i only have one maybe because i've been only coloring my roots instead of doing all of my hair i do have the dark burgundy brown so i mix the dark burgundy brown with the dark intense brown and those are the ion color brilliance permanent cream hair color um i've been using this for over a year i think at this point um, so what I've been doing lately, instead of mixing one by one, I would do a quarter and a quarter and then I would just touch up my roots unless like I find that all of my hair needs it, then I would use like more. But I, I, I do have backups of this. Again, this is something I do buy when Sale of Beauty has them on sale or has some sort of offer. I do buy them. I do have this, um, this is also by Ion and this is the Color Solutions Pigments and this is Hot Red. I love this stuff. Um, every time I notice that my hair is just not that bright red anymore, like it doesn't have that color, I do use this maybe like once every other week um, or if I'm ready for another hair color, I would use it at least like once a week um, just to kind of like keep the color a little bit red, that fiery red. Um, Again, I do color my hair burgundy brown, but with this, it kind of like balance out, it looks stunning in the sun. I did repurchase already so I would recommend this if you're having problem with your red hair like 
keeping the color in for a little bit longer i would recommend something like this those i've only tried this one actually i've tried two brands i've tried this brand and the other brand which i have in the shower i don't know what it's called but i definitely prefer this one over the other one i did buy a like um i did buy a new one of these after i finished it the other one i'm not gonna buy again but i have it i do want to finish it but i would recommend this guy okay i do have a hairspray and this is the kenra dry oil control spray medium hold um james frizz this was okay i don't know i do i have been using a red scan hairspray that i do like a lot more but this was okay i did go ahead and use it and i do have a dry shampoo called indie hair dry shampoo hashtag come clean this was okay um i have tried a different one since or i have been using a different different one since i used this i have been blow drying my hair and like straining it more often so i have been using dry shampoo more now um i try not to wash my hair too too many times because again i do color it with a little bit of red i don't like my uh, red to wash out and i don't want to damage my hair so i don't color it as often but i do I, this was good i th i think it was good it didn't leave too much white residue but the one that i'm using now i do like a little bit better i do have a red skin f FPF, which is Frizz Protection 40. This is the Frizz Dismiss. This is a gigantic thing. I think I've had this guy for two years. I finally finished it. Um, I used the littlest, tiniest bit. I would use it like right before, um, kind of like a leave-in treatment. I would put a little bit of this guy. I would um, brush my hair and then I would style it. It was good. I'm not gonna buy it I do have a lot of other stuff that are open that I'm working through but I would recommend this guy if you're having trouble finding something for frizz um, with my hair and humidity this did not it wasn't like that fantastic but it was okay and then the last item actually the last item I have and yay shorter video is the Curl Smith Food for Curls Curl Defining Styling Souffle for extra thirsty curly or kinky hair um this was amazing i did really really like it the days that i wanted to leave my hair naturally curly i would use this guy a little bit went a very long way um the oil oil to cream one of these or cream to oil or something like that is i like it better than this but this is if you need a little bit more definition to your curls not just the hydration i would recommend this um, i don't think i'll buy it anytime soon because i have again been enjoying straightening and styling my hair a little bit more Whew, I'm out of breath um, this is it for my empties like my part two empties for June July and August again um, I'll have a total in the description box for how much I spent um, in June July and August like in part two as well as I'll have the total so far this year Thank you so much for watching um, if you're not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye